Hey everyone, welcome back to Titan Tips. Today I want to talk about Fusion. Fusion was a massive addition to the game a number of months ago and something that totally changed the dynamic of the game. Before, an item was an item. That's it. You can't change it. There's nothing you can do about it. You can try to sell it on market and that's it. So there was a really high demand for certain chests and a low um, supply of them and so they were super expensive and we were transferring uh, gold to gems that way and it was it was the heyday you know and then fusion came in and it totally changed uh, the direction of the game because now your crafting slots aren't just okay I'm crafting these items I can rush them with energy and then craft more items and we continue on right that's not what it is anymore. Now you can use crafting slots for fusion. So there's a few uh, things that I think are really profitable that you can use this for your benefit and a few interesting things that I want to talk about. So first of all, for those of us who have max energy, so right now, as you can see, I only have 3,600, almost 3,700. But if I do go to my basement and switch out all of my bins for racks, then I can have uh, 8,144, which is max. Okay. So let's, let's assume that I have max energy and I'm not able to craft any items. The cool thing now is that I can still use my 12 crafting slots to make money. I can still use those slots. Not that I can rush them with energy, but then I could have 8,100 energy, be able to small talk and surcharge any tier nine in one shot or two small talks in a row surcharge a tier 10 or you know use the fancy discounting different things um to surcharge tier 10s and 11s even more efficiently than that but we won't get into that now but now you can sit there with max energy be making money and be still using your crafting slots actively so let's talk about all of the things that i think are still really good when it comes to fusion now obviously with the introduction of tier 11 sigils are massive so sigils are a necessary component to make any tier 11 item. And so you need a flawless tier six or above. So any epics work, any legendaries work, but it has to be higher than tier six. And so as we see, you're not able to get any of these items for less than literally millions, like 5 million or more, or just gems, right? And so obviously uh, fusion kind of changes the game when it comes to crafting tier 11s, because either you need to buy these sigils with um, gems or you need to be making them yourself and so making sigils can be very profitable this fishmonger for example I bought these five green fishmongers for about 500k a piece and so I'm able to make this blue which would normally cost me 5 million or more on the market so this fusion which is taking me three hours 22 minutes is making me about two and a half million gold OK, so I can use the the items that I'm fusing to then make more money or at least make the tier six for the sigil. OK, so essentially that cost me two and a half million to make. It's worth five million. And then with that item, once it's finished, I can make two sigils, which are currently worth 20, 20 gems for two or 10 gems each. After tax, I get eight. So that's worth about eight million total. And so if I'm using that item, which cost me two and a half and then I can sell those for gems which are worth about half a million each right now you know that's six million profit or five and a half million profit right so making sigils can be very profitable obviously it's going to take up all of your crafting slots and it's going to take a considerable amount of time um, but it's definitely something worth considering there is a few other things though that I think are definitely worth considering as well at one time I had a lot of keys that were going to golden chests. I didn't need to open them because I had all of the blueprints. And so I was actually transferring my keys into chests. Golden chests have a lack of supply because you can only get them for two days out of the month. And so uh, these normally sell for 10 gems plus in the market. So one key essentially is 50 gems. So if you get 10 keys, 500 gems, right? So it is actually pretty huge. And obviously you could be getting shards or, you know, whatever out of that. But if you don't care, then transferring your keys into chests and selling those for, you know, 50 gems per key can be a way of making money if that's a route that you want to go. But it's kind of up to you whether you want to open those chests or not. Obviously, with the ability to make your own Ascension Shards, that changes the game a lot as well. Now, this requires a Tier 8 Flawless or better, so those are going to be even more than 5 million. And so, you know, obviously it's pretty expensive, but I have like 2,000 Shards or 2,000 Blueprint Scrolls or something. So I could be making all of my own um, Shards, but I haven't been spending the time on this account to actually make it happen. But that is an option as well and something that late game players are going to want to do. 
And so even making flawless tier eights and selling them for max gold is probably still a way to make decent money. If you can buy five uh, green tier eights and turn them into blue tier eights, then that could be a way as well. Next thing is turning chests into components. So these chests are going right now for 145,000 or 149,000. So there you go, 149,000. These components themselves are currently going for 100k. So that's two and a half million in components for 149,000 chests. Now, obviously, you need to consider in time and moonstones, but that can be very profitable as well, where you know, depending on the price of moonstones right now, take that off the total of 2.5 million, but you can make a good amount of money that way. And these craft fairly quickly as well, like around an hour and a half or something like that. We can actually make one and I can show you an hour and 50 minutes. So there you go. So if you did 12 slots or even let's say 10 slots every two hours and you're making 2 million off of that, let's say that's 20 million profit every two hours. So that's 10 million an hour just by fusing components and selling them in market. So that's a really uh, good way to do it. Another thing that I did a lot, especially when fusion first came out is rune stones because there's such an abundance of the medium rune stones. When it first came out, they were selling for minimum gold in market. I was buying these like crazy for like 8,000, 9,000, whatever it was, trans transferring them, and you get three chiseled, which normally go for like 550K. So I'm making, you know, a million and a half, and this is costing me like, you know, 50K or something, or, you know, 70, 80K, whatever it was. And so that was really good profit as well. And so it's really just run the numbers, figure out what you like, what the time frame looks like, uh, what the level of your worker is right now, how much everything's looking like in market. Uh, but just wanted to give some ideas of what I think is, is a really good, profitable way to use fusion especially if you're at max energy or aren't wanting to craft all the time or even are wanting some longer ones uh to go overnight so you're making money overnight whatever that looks like for you but anyway hope that helps you guys out thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all next time see ya